Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will introduce you to investigating people for open source intelligence. The goal of an OSINT investigation is to uncover as much information as possible about a target. As you investigate open source data, sometimes you will come across only specific data points relevant to the target, like their name, or email address, or contact number. If you have only one or few data points relevant to the target, I will tell you about the different factors to consider that you can use to gather intelligence. Let's say you know the target's name. In addition to well-known search engines like Google and Bing, there are search engines specially designed to search for people. In people search engines, when you input a target name, you will be presented with information about all the individuals with that name, along with other details like their address and contact number. You can filter the results based on what you know about the target already. You can also perform searches on publicly available registries like vehicle ownership, property ownership, ancestry information, missing people databases, etc. There are different search services for every country. Choose a service based on where you think the target is located in. If you have a contact number that you think belongs to the target, you can use tools to confirm the validity of that number. You can also find out which carrier is providing that number and whether the number is used by a landline or a cell phone. When a contact number is provided as input, some tools will display personal information about the target like their name, address, property owned, etc. When you have an email address, you can use tools to confirm if it is valid or suspicious. There are websites that let you use a fake email address for a brief period of time. You may encounter such fake email addresses during your investigation. Given an email address, you can find out if the same username, here Adam123, was used to create accounts with other email providers. If you find valid email addresses with other email providers, you can use that as a data point to pivot your investigation. When an email address is provided as input, some tools will display personal details about the target like their real name, contact number, address, etc. If you have a photograph containing the target's face, first confirm if it is real or AI-generated. Look at the subject's facial features and for obvious tattoos or jewelry. In AI-generated images, some features stand out in an odd manner. You can also analyze the subject's eyes. Typically, in an image, the pupils in a subject's eyes would adjust to the surrounding light. In most AI-generated images, the pupils would not align with the surrounding light. You can also use facial search engines, like PimEyes, where you input the target's photograph and you are presented with the list of websites containing that image. You can also perform a reverse image search on regular search engines like Google, Bing, and Yandex. If you know the social media handle used by a target, which is mostly different from the target's real name, there are tools to identify if the same handle is used across other social media platforms. You can utilize search engines to identify other sites where the handle may have been mentioned. Social media platforms and online communities are usually a goldmine for open source intelligence. If you have one or more of these data points, you can also perform searches on various social media platforms and use search engines to perform searches with custom queries. I hope you have a good idea now about how people can be investigated for open source intelligence. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!